Hello Pisces, welcome to another bonus love reading. This is going to be a who's coming towards you love reading for the month of September. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign for additional messages. I'll have all of the playlists uh, linked in the description box. I have one for every sign and you can check out your other placements there to see what other messages might come out for you. Uh, let's just jump right in for Pisces. Insights for Pisces regarding love. Who is coming towards Pisces spirit in love? Who is coming towards Pisces? Wow, okay. We have wedding bells and burning passion. So not just chemistry, passion, but also commitment, longevity. I really hope that you're not dealing with someone married, Pisces. <laughs> uh, and the, you know, the chemistry is off the charts, but you're not supposed to take it there. We'll see. What else do we need to know? Now, this reading is for those of you that are completely single or you could already have someone in mind. So we'll see what comes out. Who is coming towards Pisces for the month of September 2021? What does Pisces need to know? Who's coming towards them? Using my Stellar Rainbow Oracle deck here and, of course, my Stellar Energy deck that I use in almost every reading. <laughs> Uh, if you're interested in any of my decks, they're linked in the description box. Who's coming towards Pisces? Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with another air sign here. Or an air sign. I don't know why I say another. Um, or someone with air sign qualities. You know, good communicators. bit um, adaptable. Interesting, intelligent trying not to sound biased because I am an air sign. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Okay, we have loyal here as well. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. Uh, faithful and dependable. So um, I don't think that this is someone that you're dealing with that is married or in a commitment because I don't think that, I mean, I, I mean, maybe they're faithful to you, but <laughs> I don't think that they necessarily, you know, this, that this card would apply to someone that would cheat on their spouse or their partner, um, this could be somebody that's been loyal to you for a really long time, you know, someone from your past or someone that you are just meeting, you know, now. And maybe this is just one of their particular personality traits, character traits. They are very dependable. Um, interesting. Some of you, this person could be younger, younger than you. Or just have a young personality. And I'm getting also this person could be athletic. Okay. Usually I don't get stuff like that, but I'm getting, okay. Purity and considerate. Yeah, this is someone like really <laughs> sweet. I feel like this is somebody that is very giving of themselves. Um, and again, I get that youthful energy. Like, you know, like they're just very sweet thoughtful they like to do gifts and stuff like that okay so let's see this could also be somebody from your past that wants to be like this now because they are very interested in you you know take it as a resonance but i feel for a lot of you this could be somebody new someone very very genuine okay what do we need to know for pisces who is coming towards them in love who is coming towards Pisces in love for the month of September? Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, nice. Knight of Wands, okay. And Five of Wands, I was about to say, this is too good to be true. Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like this is someone very open. Ace of Swords, open book is what I heard. 
open book. This is an open book. So what you see is what you get with this person. There could be, you know, an important conversation that takes place here. I feel like this is someone that's going to just come running. Like, you know, I'm getting someone that's like very active. Once again, like that athletic energy, someone that's very active or just maybe has a very active personality, you know. And if they are an air sign, I mean, their mind is all over, you know, we're definitely active mentally. So it's almost like this person is just going to come right in and almost like sweep you off your feet um, in a way. But with this five of wands, I don't know if there's like a group of people to be concerned about here. Some possible conflict. We'll see. But first, let's start with this ace of swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What's this about for Pisces? You know, this burning passion with wedding bells could be um, an indication of something that moves very quickly. Two of Wands. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands again. Once again, I feel like this is someone that's going to come rushing in. Uh, maybe you meet them unexpectedly or once again, like it's, it's like an instant connection, strength, Leo energy, four of wands. I feel like this person could be, you could be dealing with a Leo by the way, because I did the reading for Leo and their reading was about someone that's very fearless and bold and like really went after them. So if you're dealing with a Leo, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Um, but I feel like this is more someone that knows what they want. They know what they want. And all they want to know is, you know, are you along for the ride? Um, I feel like they want to talk to you before they make a decision here with the Two of Wands. What's this Two of Wands about? Or perhaps this talk is about like, should we take this to the next level? What should we do? What are we? You know, that kind of conversation. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. I feel like this person, hmm, yeah, the moon, Pisces energy. So what I'm getting here is someone that doesn't know what decision or path to take um, until they talk. It's like they they need to talk to you first. And I feel like they've thought a lot about what to tell you. But they can't make their move until they clear this up, basically. We have the Six of Wands here. So this is success, recognition. Tell me about the Six of Wands. What do we need to know? Nine of Swords. This is probably somebody concerned about, yeah, Ace of Wands, success with you, how this conversation goes, Knight of Swords. Um, you know, I, I feel like they're a bit um, worried about how you would take what, what they have to say. I also get this 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 um, energy of someone who they are waiting to make a move in their own life until they you know, until they've cleared this up with you. So, for example, this could be somebody making a career move or moving physically, or they they have a big decision to make, but you know that could probably cause them to make some sort of move. But they're not doing that until they deal with you first. You know. I need to know how Pisces feels first. But I feel like this person is going very quickly. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Again, this like rushing in energy. I am picking that up. There's that fear. Yeah, this person is scared about making this happen. And I think it's the fear. Come, it's like normally this person isn't a fearful person. Normally they're strength, you know, bold, knight of wands, but this isn't up to them, you know? I feel like they really want something and it's not up to them whether they get it, that kind of energy. Tell me about this knight of wands. Why is the knight of wands here? Wow, ace of cups, ace of swords. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, New Beginnings. I, yeah, for a lot of you, this is going to start something. Like this is a connection that will begin. But I feel like it will move very quickly. Tell me about a Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? 
Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's this person wants you and they want to go after you. Um, you could be dealing with a, a fire sign. Yeah, nine of, nine of Cups. I mean, how much clear could that be? And then I have the Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn Energy. Almost like there's like a lust, passion, burning passion, intimacy, passion, chemistry. The chemistry is off the charts. I think that's why this moves very quickly. It's almost like like this will move fast, Pisces, because it's going to be like so electric. That, honestly, that's what I feel. And it might move a little too fast, you know. I, but I think I think the reason why this might move quickly is because you're going to recognize this person as someone like that's an open book. Someone that maybe you might be able to trust. Um, someone loyal, dependable, you know. And they could be an air sign or they're just, you know, I'm getting someone that's very like, they they mold to you in a way um you're you're good for each other maybe the conversation's really good you know maybe they pique your interest you know what they say how they conduct themselves um they're very intelligent or charismatic and you want that or you're into that i feel like this is going to you know move fast this is of course not the reading for those of you that never leave your house right like just be I want to make that very clear. This is this is someone you would meet when you're out and about, right? Or you already know. Um, but definitely, this is not for those of you that are hanging out at home and never go out and never put yourself out there. Because I've seen some comments already from people like, well, where are they? I'm like, you got to be out there. First of all, you got to be out there. You got to be mingling. You got to be open to love. I feel like for the Pisces that are watching that you are kind of out and about, you won't know right away if this if this is the person because it's going to be quick. I feel like it's going to be like stars align, you know. <laughs> Tell me about the five of wands. What's going on here then? Five of pentacles. Okay. Tell me about the five of wands. So it might not all be rainbows, butterflies. Tell me about the five of wands. There could be a bit of a... Okay. All right. Um, okay, Ten of Pentacles wanted to come out. Let's see. What else? Can I get one more, please, for the Four of Wands? Not the Four of Wands. The Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? <laughs> so, basically, there's the moon. Pisces, there you are. I feel like you're going to be the one that's going to be a bit guarded here. Maybe you're... And didn't you have a reading like this right before this one? Was that you? Hmm. Anyways, it was somebody that they weren't really like open to moving quickly. I feel like you might be a bit hesitant. Maybe it's too good to be true, too much too fast. Um, maybe you're just not sure about the future with this person or about, you know, how you feel. Because this person is going to be very clear about how they feel. You might have little squabbles here and there or just maybe some conflict that makes you pause. Um, Some of you, it's because there are other others in the picture. This is not the only person. Maybe they disrupt something for you in your life. Um, maybe you were already dating someone or something like that. I, I can see that. Or perhaps you were looking for a special type of person, a particular person, and this person is not who you normally would date. And the connection is very strong, but maybe that scares you. Something like that. There's hesitancy here on at least one of your... I don't think it's this person. I think it's you. Unless this reading is reversed. But yeah, someone's holding back. But this is what's coming towards you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this reading or enjoy how I read and want to see more readings from me. Um, thank you so much for all of your support, your kind comments. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.